These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great PS3 modding tutorial today, and I'm going to showcase how easy it is to update your old DEX system that's running CFW and update it to the latest rebug DEX, which is 4.84.1 at the time of this recording. So basically what you do is you go to the rebug.me site, click on the latest blog post here, and it'll showcase all the new features since the 4.82.2 rex slash drex so i have a ps3 slim today it's actually running 4.82.2 drex and we're going to update it to 4.84.1 so what you want to do is go to the very bottom of this blog post and here you can click on this link it's going to prompt you to download this zip file go ahead and download that zip file inside the zip file is basically a text file so let me just drag and drop my window here and there's a text file here inside this text file Here's the actual link to where you download that uh, pop file. And here it is on my desktop that I downloaded previously. Next, what you want to do is have a USB thumb drive format as FAT32. So let me just go to my computer here and go to um, over here. So we'll go to my USB thumb drive. It's format as FAT32. Inside here, go to new folder, say PS3. Inside this folder, make a subfolder called update and then go ahead drag and drop or cut and paste your firmware file into your thumb drive under the update folder and then at the end we will rename the file as ps3 updat.pup if you wish you can also um, the md5 hash code is also provided with the text file so if you wanted to you can run a program like WinMD5 or something similar and double check the MD5 before you go through the install process. So make sure you have a good, uh, proper, accurate download. So here it is transferred to my USB thumb drive. So now all I'm gonna do is just do this. Basically, it's all capital letters, PS3, update.pop. So here it is, USB thumb drive, PS3, update, PS3, update.pop. That's it. Go and eject that USB thumb drive. And then what you want to do is take that thumb drive, plug it into the rightmost USB port on your PS3, fat or slim, that's running CFW. And we will continue in the next portion of this video tutorial on my PS3. So let's do this. Okay, so here we are on my PS3. So let's do this. So the first thing I'm going to showcase is just for kicks. Let me show you my system version. And it will say that I'm on 4.82. So let's go ahead. Go to system information, 4.82, okay. And then also, just in case, I'm going to go to Rebug Toolbox and show you all my current settings, just in case uh, you if you want to compare against yours. So like I said, I'm running a DREX system right now. So I go to system information, and we see that level 2 kernel and target type are both DEX. And here, you can see all my settings here under the second column, if you want to make sure you're on the same page as I am. And I have my QA flag also enabled as well, just in case. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and quit back to the X and B screen and we will follow through with the firmware installation process. Here you want to make sure your USB thumb drive, rightmost USB port. So system update, update via storage media, it's scanning, it sees the firmware update, that's a good sign. And it's going to go ahead and proceed through the process. This part of it, I have sped it up in the video, so it won't take too much time and I'll just sort of go over the process here and talk about some other things in the background. So um, if do you need to update your particular PS3 homebrew apps? Possibly. I did a test with Multiman. I did a test with Webman mod from the 4.82 days. You can get the latest version from store.brewology.com for Multiman or you can also go to the GitHub for um, Multi-man or some other programs too, like Send Enabler. Send Enabler, actually, you can get it from the store.brewology.com. Multi-man from GitHub. Nonetheless, all my other programs still works fine, like my RetroArch, that was fine. PS uh, Ninja was fine, for example, if you want to use that. PSN Patch, that was fine as well. So I didn't have any issues that I know of coming across this. Once we have fully installed the firmware, one of the things I like to do is reinstall the latest Rebug Toolbox, just to make sure I have all the latest features enabled here. 
I will note that after I restarted the PS3, I mean, this firmware process restarts the PS3, my PS3 controller was not working, it was still blinking, so I had to go and scrounge around for a USB cable to plug it in to my PS3. So in a second here, you'll see that the video will skip just slightly as I want to edit out that long wait here. But once I got the controller connected, now we're good to go. So let's go ahead and flip through the different screens. I'm gonna show my system firmware version, which will be 4.84. So let's go ahead and showcase that. Excellent. And then next for kicks, let's go back to Rebug Toolbox. Um, let's delete the old version and I'll show you where to install the new version. And that's going to be on your system folder. Install package file, system storage actually. And then there's that package file. Install it. You have the latest version. And now you can go ahead and run the program. And it should... For the most part, it retains most of your settings, not everything. Information here, we see there were both dex dex. That's great. In the second column, change the system mode to rebug. Everything else should be just like my screen here. If not, go ahead and enable it. And QA flag is also enabled as I expect. So you go back to X and B screen. Here, all your programs should work. If not, you can go online, re-download them, get the latest version just in case and install them. And then you're good to go. So here I'm gonna go ahead and find a program to run as an example. And we're going to use um, Multiman, actually. And this is a Multiman that I've used on 4.82 DRX. It was fine. And here we can see that it's also fine for 4.84.1 DRX. So that's today's PS3 tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.